Right, so we're going to jump into exactly what Reese did and able to drop £32 total since working with us. Uh, what I'm going to do is break down exactly the steps that we followed, what it is that he struggled with, and how we overcame them using the coaching structure that we follow. Um, so if you don't know, my name is Sam Stanton. I'm the head coach at Elite Transformation Project. Uh, Reese joined us a few years back uh, when we were quite new to the online coaching space. Uh, he was previously in a gym. and uh, He wasn't getting anywhere. And he was really frustrated, saw what we were doing, reached out. We had a little bit of a chat, a little consultation, uh, and he decided to jump on board with us. And as you can see, uh, he's done bloody well with it. And he's one of my star students, as you can call it. So I broke this down to three simple steps that we followed, the three main things that we followed uh, for him to lose the £32. Um, but without having to follow that typical bodybuilder lifestyle of eating chicken and broccoli, being in the gym six days a week, training for an hour and a half, because um, it's not practical. You know, if you've got a job, you've got responsibilities, you've got kids to look after, you're in a relationship, it's just not practical. So people that sell you these amazing plans, even if they're a brilliant plan, can you even follow it and can you stick to it realistically? So this is where Reese came from um, at the beginning, of course. There you are. Come on. There we go. So just a bit of background of who we are and what we do. Um, so the transformation project. So the whole purpose of this coaching service is to be able to sort of debunk all the rubbish that's out there and become a leading force in the UK, as well as working around abroad online. So really, really create an elite transformation exactly what you saw that Reese has done have you seen my other clients do countless times through my Instagram page you're going to see a lot of the transformations they're not just a progress photo where someone's lost 10 pounds five pounds we're about getting them from where they're currently stuck to getting them their dream body in the most effective realistic and practical healthy way possible so they can keep it long term so you know we've worked in the gyms before I've been a personal trainer in the gym face to face and as much as I enjoyed it a lot of the issues that you'd face with a personal trainer in the gym is they're not there to support you outside of the gym you only see them for the session generally speaking they're going to get you to do workouts that they like and they've tried themselves rather than what's specifically best for you and there's very much a lack of education and knowledge around the nutritional side of things and the habit side of things um, a lot of trainers you might speak to pretty good in the gym in terms of their actual training you know functionality and application there but when it comes to nutrition and how the body works and managing hunger levels all that kind of stuff normally isn't included and that's where most people need most of the help um, so that's one of the things we pride ourselves on doing by providing the best service possible um, i won't break down all you know ben features and benefits of what we use but you'll get the gist as we go through these parts um, and the, the main three steps that me and Reese use together. But we have world class systems. We're all about making sure that you're not just going to the gym 24 7, eating boring foods, eating foods that just don't excite you because there's only so long you can do that. You can only eat chicken and broccoli so many times before you go mad and then go, go and get like a, or you can eat Chinese buffet and then feel bad for it and, and repeat that cycle, right? And we don't want to be. And those coaches that give people just shit loads of cardio to do where you're in the gym all day long just running around doing circuits battle ropes that stupid thing people do around their head with i don't even know what that is the point being is the way we do things is we want it to be more exciting we want it to fit your schedule so it's easy to stick to long term so you can get the best results possible and the main thing is to be able to keep the results long term without having to just eat foreign food for the rest of your life so this video this case study what this is about this is for you if this all sounds familiar to you okay you can see some of the transformations we've got at the top there i'm in some of them as well uh, but if you feel like you're constantly stuck in a cycle of all or nothing you know it's either fish and a rice cake chicken and broccoli salads boring food saying no to social events because of the anxiety of the food that's going to be involved or you know completely binging and getting several mcdonald's and dominoes on the same day right if that sounds like something you do this is something that can help solve that the same thing goes for being fed up of being fed up. A lot of people start and stop, start and stop. You know, they're busy. They wait until they're not busy. They give it a go, but then they inevitably become busy again. And you can't rely on, you know, having the time to do it. You need to find a way to fit that in effectively like we've done with Reese here. So if you're fed up of being fed up and hitting the wall, this is for you. And of course, you know, the time and the patience. A lot of people think you need to live that bodybuilder lifestyle. I used to think this. I used to be in the gym for two hours. And then when I actually worked more hours in my job and I had more responsibilities, I just couldn't keep up with it. And I thought, oh no, I can't look good. I can't get a good body because all these pro guys are telling me I need to be in the gym two hours. I need to eat like this every two hours. It's ridiculous. But when you realize all that's not really needed and a lot of it's just marketing and you can get by just by doing, you know, two to four hours per week on exercise and fitting in the meals that you want, how you like to, as long as they fit a certain nutritional requirement, you can get a hell of a lot of amazing results, as you can see up here. All these 
these people are busy people. All these people previously thought that they might not be able to do it and they've all managed to get it done and be really, really happy with the results. So obviously we're talking about Reese today. Um, Reese is a really good example of what we do. Um, he fits the typical avatar of being sort of a skinny fat person, um, which means not a lot of muscle, a little bit of podgy areas that he's not happy with. Um, and to be fair, he, he really wasn't happy in his own skin. And you know, not that he should feel bad about that, but if he looks in the mirror or took a shot off, he wasn't necessarily happy, he didn't feel very confident and it affected his relationship with his friends. And one of the tough things for Reese is that a lot of his friends didn't go to the gym. You know, they, they had poor habits and that rubs off on him. So going to the gym is a completely new experience for Reese. Um, you know, he just didn't feel very, very confident. When, he, when I first spoke to him, he seemed to be a little bit doubtful, a little bit unsure about things. Uh, one of the main things that happened with Reese is that he did actually previously work with a personal trainer in person. Um, and when I spoke to him about that, he was like, well, I didn't really get much progress from it. Um, he showed me some videos as well of what they, they did together. And uh, it wasn't bad, but the issue was that there wasn't any proper structured programming. He wasn't getting the results he wanted. There was zero nutritional support on, on the matter. And all the stuff he did was just like cardio circuits, uh, just to say if you attend like a free class at the gym, you running around slamming medicine balls. Um, so it ended up being a bit of a waste of money for him. And, you know, it did knock his confidence because he did that, stuck to it, hired a professional and didn't get the results he wanted. So I'm quite surprised he even reached out to me, to be honest, because, you know, if he wants a bit into why shy. Um, but I'm really, really proud that he did. And I'm glad he did because he's done exceptionally well and he's over the moon with his results. Um, so he, you know, he was told to eat boring foods, eat chicken and broccoli, you know, don't drink beer can't have sugar you can't have this don't eat carbs after six all the typical cliche stuff that gets thrown around and because it gets thrown around other trainers just repeat it other people repeat it a lot of influencers would just tell you what they've been told rather than doing it from experience and research and all that good stuff uh, but the, the main point of this part is at the beginning he just didn't feel very comfortable in his own skin it affected his confidence it was a bit of a strain with his friends and it's very difficult for him to break that cycle and get away from that, uh, you know, while still having a social life with his friends and not feeling bad about trying to diet and eat chicken and broccoli all the time, right? Now, what we did to overcome all the issues that Reese was facing was very, very specific. We wanted to make sure that his routine had a crystal clear outcome, which meant that he knew why he was doing it and how it was gonna help him. Whereas the previous trainer was getting him to run around and slam medicine balls about and do star jumps. And yeah, he's gonna burn some calories, but there was no addition to that. There was no plan, there was no structure. And once his body got used to it, he hit a wall and his motivation dropped and he just didn't get anywhere, right? So we wanted to make sure that we have a solid workout plan that fitted his work schedule his energy his time and most importantly his goals what he wanted to work towards he wanted to lose the body fat he wanted to gain muscle and he wanted to feel a lot more confident in his body and his skin and, you know and he wanted to look good he wanted to look attractive he wanted to get girls attentions to be quite honest with you um, which you know it, it'll tell you now that he's, quite, he's probably a bit too confident now he struts around like yeah nobody's business but he's earned the right to he's built that confidence from the ground up and it's, it's a new territory he's never been in shape by this before now he is it's a whole new world to him um so we what we did is we put together a custom workout plan built around his genetics as well as you can tell he's quite tall um you know his sh shoulders are quite narrow he wanted to firm up his chest and most importantly he wanted to lose his belly so his plan reflected that and it was clear guided structure on what to do so instead of going procrastinating and going to the gym and giving it a go and having to go on the machines getting a little bit of a pump and going home and thinking it's going to do something he had that confidence and certainty that it was working not only that we tracked it within our app here which you can see we've got a little um uh, screenshot here uh, with better videos on there now but he can track his workouts on there i can see them we can communicate as and when he's done them so it's not just a session we're doing a lot of weekly reviews and accountability but every single workout he does is reviewed seen and accounted for rated out of 10 as well as going through all the stats so he knew what weight to do next time what reps to do next time what was working what need changing so his workouts became a lot more exciting that meant his motivation to go and do them was at an all-time high and because of that he got that momentum to keep going and obviously get these insane results in a very, very short time frame. Um, you know, and he was doing that on anywhere between three and four hours per week. It had to fit his work schedule, which was always constantly changing. And, and whilst we did this transformation, he actually did go for a different job, which was very, very laborious. And then he had to change everything again. And this is where most people fall off is that lack of planning and having structure. That's one of the main problems we solved here, making sure that he had what he needed to fit his schedule so he didn't miss a workout, he didn't need to live in the gym, and he was optimizing the recovery and getting good results. Secondly was the food, okay? Food is most people's biggest struggle, and that's where most people that get trainers end up losing where they're going. I've even had to explain to a trainer, you know, how to go on a diet. 
which I couldn't believe at the time. And I wasn't a trainer at the time. Uh, once I got my qualification, I then realized that they don't really cover that. And once you realize that energy balance and food and nutrition is like, I dare say more important than the training, even though the training is very important for your health and longevity of the results. It's a huge, huge factor. It's a be all end all. If you train and you're fit and you're doing great, but your nutrition's absolute crap, your body's going to go to crap. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to get the results you want. Food is incredibly important. Now, with his work schedule changing around all the time and this being new territory to him and him being told that he needs to eat chicken and broccoli and eat loads of rice and have you know, brown rice and all the brown carbs uh, and him not liking that and feeling very bloated from eating those foods. Um, and also, it did take him a lot of time. He did say it took him a lot of time to be able to even eat those kind of foods because they're quite stodgy and boring. So you, you're not going to stick to it long enough. You're going to binge and go out and chug a bunch of beers on the weekend because you've had to go through hell on the weekdays. So what we did is... We gave him some recipe ideas. We put together a hybrid meal plan. Um, I don't give meal plans thinking that it's a big fix because you're not going to stick to a meal plan long enough and you don't learn much from it. But a hybrid meal plan will give you some structure on what you should have for your day, how you're going to hit the nutritional requirements that you may have, and then how to be a bit more intuitive with it. So with this, you know, as he said here, you, he didn't even, people around him didn't even know he was on a diet because he didn't have to bring a stinky Tupperware to work and pop it open, have some smelly chicken popping out or tins of tuna. He could do that if he wanted to, but it wasn't 100% necessary. We made it work for him, fit his schedule and allow him a lot more flexibility so that if he wants to go out with a family member, if he wants to go out with a friend, he can make the decisions and enjoy the food he wants while still having that certainty that he's making good progress. And again, nutrition is one of these things get adjusted as you progress. So as he lost body fat and gained a little bit of muscle, we updated his nutrition to continue Continue to push forward instead of just hitting a wall or just eating less and feeling like crap. Um, of course, you know I might be blowing my own horn here, but we give experts a level of support. Um, if Reese had a problem, he could bring it straight to me and the team. If he had any questions, it was answered straight away. If he had a week coming up where he's a bit anxious, like okay, I'm going to a music festival, I'm going to be doing this, I don't know what to have food-wise, am I allowed to drink? Am I going to go backwards? What training should I do? Should I train? All these concerns that happen when you're a busy individual with a social life, you need to know what to do. You need to have that peace of mind and certainty. So because I've been through this myself and coaches I can work with, you know, they've had the similar sort of journeys that they can help you with actual experience, not just a textbook going, OK, mate, make sure you have one oily fish whilst you're away. Uh, yeah, no beer because alcohol's a bad macro. Uh, none of that crap. It's literally we go, right, I've been to a festival before. I've dieted at a festival before. Here's how you're going to do it. Here's what to expect. And here's how you know that you're on track and you don't need to worry about it. So instead of being thrown off by taking time off like most people do, you know, it gets to Christmas and you eat loads of food and you come back out of Christmas and you, you, you've overindulged, you feel lazy, you feel like, uh, and then people just drop the ball and then they wait until New Year's and then they do a little bit and then they drop it and then holiday comes up, they get ready for the holiday and then they do the holiday, get back and they feel lazy and they drop it. It's the whole stopping and starting thing that was the problem. But with some proper support, planning ahead, structure and accountability, you can overcome those things and still enjoy them and have that peace of mind that you're not going to go backwards and, and do all your hard work. Um, so with Reese, you know, like I said, he changed career whilst we were working together. Um, he moved to location whilst we were working together. Um, he had a few changes in goals. Once he reached certain levels, there was next things to do. So it's one of those things where you need to manage busy periods. You cannot just rely on being fit and healthy when you've got time for it. It needs to fit into your daily schedule and daily routine, but it shouldn't take up all your time. You know, with Reese, he's he was at his busiest point of his life. Lots of things happening. Like I said, moving out, getting into new relationships, um, he, like his career change as well. So new schedule, new timing, new demands, new responsibilities. Um, you know, it was very physically demanding as well. But throughout all that time, he was in the best shape of his life and he was fixing all the issues that he had previously when he was less busy. So it's all about managing and having that proper support. One of the ways we did this is we do track a lot of the things through an app on the phone. Very, very, very easy to use. Uh, but it means that he can track, try to track his habits. Um, we can see his food. We can see his adhering to the program. We can dial it down as well. If he wants to make progress, but he's got less time for it, we can always make that work and tick those boxes. So he continues to move forward. So instead of going, OK, I'm busy, I'll drop the ball and go backwards and get unhealthy and then struggle to get that momentum back to get back to where you were. With Reese, he was able to continue to progress throughout that time and look the way he looks. So obviously now, fast forward, um, I'm so, so proud of Reese. I genuinely like, 
I'm, I'm blown away by it. And the gym I used to work at, he goes to that one every now and again. And everyone, even the personal trainers there are proper impressed with him and say, bloody hell, mate, I would have managed to do this. And it's like, cool. That's why that's why we're called the Elite Transformation Project. It's not just, oh, here's a bit of progress. Oh, look, he lost five pounds because he's dropped carb weight. It's real solid progress. This isn't borrowed progress. He's going to keep this physique for life. And you'd have to do a hell of a lot of work to go back to where he was, you know? So at the moment, you know, he lost 20 kg in 20 weeks. He's actually lost a lot more than that total. Uh, now he's gained some muscle, so his scale weight's going to come down and back up with muscle, which means he's now able to eat more food without going backwards, okay? He's got a higher metabolic rate, a higher BMR. He's able to eat more food and not worry about it. That's one of the phases we do, which I call the bulletproof phase, where we reverse diet, build up your metabolic rate. So once you've got the result, you just lock it in and enjoy the freedom that comes with it. Of course, now on the right side, he's much fitter. He's got more energy. He's definitely a lot healthier. And he did it at a key point in his life where it was important for him to do that. And he's completely stronger. Like his strength is still going up now. Um, and that's down to having the app and tracking and planning and adjusting it as we go along and going through different phases and adjusting his nutrition instead of just going to the gym, giving weights and eating protein. It's a lot more than that. Once your body gets used to things, it needs challenging, it needs adjustments and updates. Um, you know, one of the main things with uh, Reese is once he got this physique, and his confidence went up and you know his life was a lot better he now needs to fit that in with his social life right so his life's a lot more social he goes out on a lot of weekends um he goes to more music shows and music festivals he hangs out with family members and friends a lot more uh, and he does go for a fair bit of traveling around the uk um so he needs to know how to fit those things in but now he's got the education he's got the hands-on support he's got the planning he's got the knowledge and he's got the physique he can get away with a lot of it and enjoy it to its fullest without having to worry about falling backwards and then wait until new year's to start again so that leads me on to what about you? You might have been watching this and thinking, actually, I relate to that a lot. Actually, yeah, I find that on the weekends I struggle and I drop off. Actually, I'm also extremely busy. I've got loads to look after and loads to do. There aren't enough hours in the day. But you might think, okay, nutrition is one of my, you know, bane of my existence. If you're thinking this is something that might help you, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a call. And I know everyone says this. But it's not a sales call. It's not a high pressure, I'm going to make you cry and then sign up thing. It is a legitimate, genuine conversation between me and you to see what you've been struggling with. And I can offer you some advice and talk you through how some of the systems we put together with Reese might apply and work well for you. And if at the end of that, you're like, actually, that sounds amazing. I'd like to know more about it. Then I can break down the coaching structure, the pricing, how it works, what time frame is best for you. And we can take it from there. If you're like, actually, cool. No, I don't think that's for me. I'm not willing to do those things. Absolutely fine. It's no problem. At least you'll walk away with some idea and better structure. Have a bit more clarity on what you should be doing next to reach those goals. So below this video, there should be either a button or a link, depending on where you're watching this. Click that. It will show the brief availability. It's a tiny, tiny little um, form to fill in. So we've got the information to actually get on the call. And we'll have a little chat about you and your results and see what we can do to help you. And if you have any questions or you're not sure about anything at all, you can always send a message or a DM to the Instagram page at, at the Elite Transformation Project. Um, thank you for watching it this far. Chances are this is probably something that would work well for you. Um, so make sure you book in that call. I appreciate you watching this. And like I said, any questions, shoot them my way. Have a great rest of your day.